Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Last time I was out here, I didn't find any bedding bass. So I'm gonna fish a little bit deeper with something like a crankbait. Let's go see what I have to choose from. Let's pick a winner here. We've got some square bills over here. This looks like a bomber. This looks like a... This one looks like it came from Academy Sports. we got another bomber over here. I'm not sure what this yellow one is. It's attached to a ton of other ones. That looks good. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Let's see if I can get it untangled. Uh, it's not very heavy, but I bet I could cast it. All right, here we are. Like I said earlier, I don't even know what kind of crankbait this is. I don't see a brand name on it. I don't see any stamps on the lip. It's got rattles. Ow got sharp little hooks on it let's give it a try hopefully I don't get snagged right away if anyone recognizes this feel free to comment below but I'm not even sure what brand this is whoa I don't want to go in the tree put the brakes on there Kind of like the yo-yo method with the uh, lipless crank. Just swim in it for a moment. Then just pausing. Then swim in it again. Good action down there. It's a shallow diver. You could tell by how small the lip is right here. I'm fishing in about anything from six inches to maybe four feet out there. So as I get closer to shore, I need to slow it down a little so it doesn't dig into the, so it doesn't dig into the bottom and get hung up. Which it's doing out there. I'm going a little bit fast with it, I think. I can keep my rod tip a little higher. I'm using 12 pound test mono, that Akuma Stratus V, and a loose speed stick, six and a half foot medium heavy. So this is a floating crank, watch. Boop. Let's watch that again. As I'm reeling, see it down there, then I let go up to the top. So when I pause, it starts to raise towards the surface. And then when I start reeling again, it starts diving back down again. That's the motion I want. So at first glance, when I watch this thing come towards me, it wants to swim off to that side. So what I'm gonna do is take my pliers and I'm gonna bend this eye a little bit that way. All right, got my pliers. Let's see if I can correct this. Just a little bit. A little, 
a tiny little bit. You just want to adjust the angle just a tiny bit. All right, still running off that side. Let's do it again. Now it's running the other way, see that? All right, so I overdid it. Gonna move it back just a bit. Gotta find that happy medium so it runs straight. Let's try that again. You get it going fast enough, you'll be able to see which way it wants to go. That's looking pretty good. Let's try one more time. It's looking good. It's got a once in a while, it's got an erratic wobble one way or the other. We're going to leave it just like this. Pretty light, so I got to turn the tension down. I'm going to use a kind of pull and pause method with this. I'm going to swim it. fish. Nothing to write home about, but it's a good start. A lot of energy right there. We're going to adjust it just a tiny bit more. Now off to the right again. Oh, it's so finicky. I'm almost there. Just oh, and it's starting to rain. Okay, we'll go with that. Damn rain. <laughs> 